Hello and welcome to the Ultimate Asterisk Guide. I'm going to be starting off with the most basic of basic, and as the video goes on, we'll go into more advanced tricks, more advanced details. I want to make this guide to be useful for any rank and how to use Asterisk utmost effectiveness. So let's start from the beginning. We have our abilities at the bottom. We got the Sucky Sucky 9000, the Top Out Knockout, the Hot Box Blackout, the No Sound Blockout. I'm going to use these terms because I'm not using this gravity well nova pulse nebula okay we're, we're sticking with this simple stuff we also have five stars at the bottom and then you'll notice we have two key binds okay we have the f which is pulling back a star we have the x which is going into astra form so if i place x i'm now in astra form i can move anywhere i can look anywhere and you'll see i have this little um, center star i don't know what to call it with two little circles around it the outer circle is a pole You'll see if I pull, I get pulled into that perfectly. And then there's the inner circle, which is the concuss and the smoke. See that lines perfectly around. For Astra's wall, you use it by going into astral form, right clicking, and you'll see this big center star. Um, you want to think of this as like the center of a clock. Um, you want to select a point and then you'll be able to move it around that point completely. Uh, usually when you go A, you do these two smokes. And in most situations, you just use the wall as a replacement for this. So I'm going to select backside here. And you can see like I'm going clockwise right now. We're trying to find the time. Um, this is going to be a wall for backsight. So I'm just going to move it uh, with my mouse here and bada beam, bada boom. Um, you just left click and down goes the wall. Ready. Now let's go into the fundamentals for each ability, how it affects a player and where it can be best used. So first off, here's the pull. When a player gets stuck in it, even if they're like knife out running out, it's very difficult if they're already too deep in it. It Pulling slows them in the vulnerable zone. You can see little status effects on the bottom left. Um, when you're vulnerable, you do double damage. When you're slowed, you, you just have trouble moving around. Some of the best spots for pulls are tightly packed areas and placements where movement's going to be weird. So for example, look how tight this hallway is right here. This is a very good spot to put a pull. Um, and then look right here, right outside hookah. This is also a very good spot. So if I'm an attacker going into hookah and someone spots me right here and you immediately do this pull, it's in. deep enough in where I'm still going to have trouble running out. And if I'm trying to run out, it makes for a really easy kill for someone in hookah. So for this one outside of hookah, my movement's going to be halted. I'm going to make a loud plumping noise when I drop out. So let's say I'm an Astro back site and I'm just listening for this audio cue. I hear it. I Pulling pop this pull. And now this person has to deal with all the potential people being on site and running out of that pull at the same time. Especially if there's multiple jumping out of hookah. They'll get like stuck on each other and you'll just have a field day on them. Okay, so those are really only the two things you need to know for Ash's pull. And the same actually goes for her concuss. So this concuss, it does absolutely nothing until it pops. And then your movement slowed, your firing rate slowed, your screen gets all hazy. It makes for an easier target to kill. Um, but they're still able to shoot back, so you want to keep that in mind. The same stars apply for the concuss. You want to put them more towards the attacker a bit more. Uh, because the circle is smaller, they might be able to run out of it. So if I'm peeking hookah right here, someone sees me, they pop the concuss. I'm trying to jump out, I get stuck. Same exact thing, people swing me from back here. I'm jumping out of hookah. Um, this one's really good if you want to do like a quick swing. So someone just heard me drop. I pop the concuss, and these people backside and are able to swing someone who can hardly fight back. It can also be used to stop an upper. If you drop this concuss on her and she gets hit by it, she's not going to be able to scope in her weapon, but she can still no scope. You can also combine the pull on concuss with nades, mollies, like burn mold, soul mold, a lot of really good like proximity utility that'll make it really hard for them to escape. It's also really good for taking someone off the bomb and delaying for a few seconds. So let's make sure this outer circle is on top of the bomb. Um, if I chuck this pull, once I hear a tap, it'll immediately take someone off the bomb. They can try to run back and do it. The concuss is really good to combine with this pull. So if I were to hear someone tap, I chuck this pull, it's taking them off the bomb, and it's also forcing them in the radius of this concuss. You can see there's a lot going on this person's screen. If someone were to swim me right now, I'd be very vulnerable. Another thing for Asher Smokes is they're really easy to play around. When I push through the smoke, there could have been someone in it, and they could be just sitting in here waiting and shoot me as soon as I come in. Um, but you can also use it to your advantage. Like if you just want to sit in here, um, you can even like push outside the smoke, clear this. And then now you have a, a different angle that would catch the enemies off guard. You want to make sure you're not chucking smokes that bleed onto the side a bunch. Because of what we just talked about, if you do smokes like this, people are just going to run out of them and they're going to be less of a threat. Like if I can just run out of the smoke like this, I have this entire area to kind of play around and the people holding have to watch this entire range. 
Same thing with that smoke. Um, you want to make sure you don't have it bleed onto the area you're pushing into. So right here is perfect. You can see how much smaller the area is. I have to watch. It's just this gateway. And if people were to come out of this, their only option is to go straight out of it. And little thing right here, my, like your barrel sticks out. Um, so the person watching this smoke would also have the advantage. You want to be careful with faster smoke because the inner circle doesn't actually mean that this entire area is going to be smoked off. And some places there will be gaps. Um, so you want to make sure when you do smokes like this to maybe let them bleed out a little. If you're doing smokes in another spot, you also want to be careful that you're not smoking off an opper. And if you are, you want to make sure they understand that you're going to like smoke off their first shot. So Astra can also take back her stars with F. You can either take it in regular form or Astra form. Either works. Um, this can also be used to quickly engage and disengage with enemies or to fake out a smoke. If I'm doing this aggressive long control smoke, after I've done this for a couple rounds, I could have a teammate or even myself come out and op. And I pop this, it looks just like a smoke, and then it drops and I get a kill, and then I'm back up. Um, it's also good if you want to quickly isolate someone. I can call this back, run into this with a shorty, and just blam him. Now the wall is up, it's down, no bullets can go through it, abilities can, right? Um, you can also swing through it. You can knife through it. The sounds are also quieter behind the wall. So if someone was diffusing right here, you would be able to hear it, but it would be a lot more subtle than you're used to. And if you're too far away, you might not even hear it at all. I suggest whenever you do the wall, you also have um, some smokes ready and maybe a, a star ready as well. Cause when this wall drops, all this area is gonna be opened up. And if you just immediately deny this space with smokes or if someone swings through this wall and tries to get a kill, you can immediately concuss them or you can immediately pull them. Now you should understand Astra's abilities a bit. Let's say you just queued into a game. This is your very first game as Astra. Where do I put my stars? How, what should I buy on pistol? What's what's going on here? What should I do? Um, on pistol, I usually say three stars and a ghost or all five stars. I think three stars on the ghost is best because you usually don't use more than three on the pistol round. And what your setup should always be is you should always have one for the area you're holding, maybe one for across the map, and you should always have a spare somewhere. So once these barriers drop, I'm listening for someone short. I'm maybe maybe jump peeking, maybe just jiggle peeking, maybe just peeking, seeing if anything's there. If I see something, if I hear something, I pop this smoke and I put my extra star right here just in case these start coming out. If instead I peek this and I don't see anything, I will talk to my boys on B, see what's going on over there, see what they need. And if you don't see anything when you peek this, it's really important that you're paying attention to what's happening on the B site. Make sure your minimap can see everything. Make sure you're talking to your boys on B. Just be like, tell me, is there anyone hookah? Is there anyone lawn? Asking questions like that. Um, look, looking at their vision cones, seeing what's happening on the map. And if anything goes on, if they, they come in a hookah, you smoke this off. Um, you can either smoke off lawn or do a pull right beneath. I would probably say... Do a smoke there, retake this one, wait for this one to come back, and then do your pull either outside hook or outside lawn. Um, both these are really good, but having this little extra star helps a lot. On regular rounds, regular rifle rounds, I say always have your area prepared. Um, always have one for where is most needed and have one to two for extra you can put one below hookah this one's really good we'll go over why in a little um, but just having two, th two these two areas really locked down if your utility lets your teammates focus on other areas and also lets you focus on your areas so if they're coming short you know you jump this you see people you pop this smoke if there's like a rain of flash if there's some utility usage maybe a silver drone uh, people are starting to come out sight you pop this pull you let it do its work you see you see if they're still coming in you pop a few shots you can even play back and see if they continue pushing um you can play back or you can jump back drop another star pop a concuss if they're starting to come out again um, remember the little areas for the circles when you do this so these entrances are really good to smoke off it's also really good to have stars in really tight areas kind of like this entrance to hookah or places where their movement's gonna be like really reduced. So as soon as you drop out of here, you're gonna have to build up the momentum again. So this is also a really good spot to have a star because once they jump out, you'll hear them. There'll be a little audio cue and then you can chuck your pole. That'll really do its work. It'll cover a huge area. They're not gonna be able to get out of that and you can swing. And if hookah's smoked off, you wanna make sure you have stars in areas where they're gonna commit. So this smoke's really good. If they commit onto the site and push through this smoke, they're gonna have to deal with all this area at once. Having a star here as well is extremely deadly. If like a jet just runs out here and then their team starts to follow them and you chuck this pole, you get like two or three people in this pole. Your teammates on site are going to have a really easy time getting these picks because not only are they going to have to fight all these angles, they're going to be stuck in this pole and then in a few seconds they're going to be vulnerable as well. 
so there's three types of stars there's the really aggressive like early control star you can do the default that's the second one and then you can do the third one which is more on site uh, you play into me, play into my trap. I have something set up here. You don't really know what it is, but you're going to have to find out. The early control is really good because it'll let you know if people are trying to push into an area, if they use some abilities to get through. It also lets you like freely grab an orb. You can do this on both here and showers and just get a free orb off the bat. These default ones never go wrong. I suggest always starting off with the default ones. Um, these on-site ones can be extremely deadly. If you're really good at playing around the smokes or you like to do that, these are so strong. So, so imagine you're someone pushing onto the site, you see these smokes, you kind of just have to gamble. Um, the asterisk can be playing all in this area. You have to jump on top of tube. There's a lot you can do as an asher inside these smokes. You could just be sitting in here for judge and I guarantee you're good for one. You also don't even have to play inside of it. Like you could be playing back site here and just waiting for someone who wants to avoid these smokes, jump on top of the tube. It's really good to play inside of a shotgun and just wait and see, especially on save rounds, this can be useful. Um, all of her smokes are really good. But sitting in here if it's shorty, you can just kill them, jump out of hookah, and then you're covered. For retakes, the same things with her wall apply. If you want to wall off this, it's perfect. If you want to do the default smokes, it's perfect. Concealment. You're Concealment. pushing these people on on site. Um, one thing about Ash's utility is that this pole goes on every level that it's on. So it's on top of the tube right now, but if I do this pole, it'll go all around the tube. So all three of these stars are really good. You can do one on left side, right side. Um, pretty much where you expect people to be or just an area you don't want to have to worry about so if you don't have any information i would suggest this top one or you can do something like this where you pull back this star pull this one concuss this one and then bam you're, you're all the way out of sight let's say we're attacking b some early stars to get long control or to help get hookah control are really good a pull here off the bat will deny someone from peeking or make it really uncomfortable if they want to um, this pull also traps people right side pulls everyone on that right side um, once you've kind of scaled up site and you're ready to come out, you pop in here, get your stars out. And I would honestly say like these same default ones, or maybe on these left and right, are just as good as anyone. So default smokes, pull. Um, it's really good to practice. It can be good to practice putting your stars down really fast. And you can just go out crazy. Um, you can also use these stars we talked about just to retake to get yourself out really quickly. Um, for this CT one, this goes on vine but it also can go on a few other maps it's really good to have another star right outside of it people love to push out of this ct smoke so having a star here helps a ton if they decide to swing out and peek if they start to flash out drone out dart out boom bot out literally anything you can pop this pole and that'll deny some of their util and keep this area locked in give you some more room to breathe i'm going to give some underrated tips for astra that i've kind of learned through coaching people and through watching other ashes play if you're gonna do this star if you're gonna do something here that's not in your area you want to make sure you're having some comms you're, you're talking to people hey can you let me know when to pull under hookah uh, or tell me when to pull tell me when to smoke hookah because if you're fighting your own battle on short you're not going to be able to pay attention so it's good to get some comms ask for it see if they, they'd be willing to help you out there's my mini map settings if you want to be able to see the map just like i do these stars pop up two seconds into the buy phase so if you want you can wait till there's zero seconds left pop both these stars and that'll help catch people off guard a little but you can also have stars pre-placed just know they'll, they'll appear for the enemies at two seconds in the buy phase ash requires some sort of game sense and prediction ability you kind of have to know the general flow of the game I, I talked about like looking out for abilities that's a really good tell asking teammates for comps another really good tell she is an extremely powerful agent and i really hope that the people who watch this video are able to learn her how to play her well and if you guys get any nice clips send them in the discord uh, i'd love to see them i'd love to hear some feedback on this and that's going to do it for this entire video. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Stay positive, stay strong, and I'll see you in the next one.